We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Okay. Welcome everybody, this is Mount Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and we're doing this mandala class here today and they're having a potluck with it also and um, Carl just made these, he's like the raw chocolate cake master. This is a raw chocolate cake, um, the crust is made of almonds with chia seeds and flax and I use this um, and there's also cacao paste in it. It's like wow. a brownie type thing. Wow. Um, and this part here is bananas with cacao paste and cacao butter. Wow. And I use this uh, cane juice crystal, which is basically the juice of the cane that's been sun dried. Wow. It's all certified raw and stuff. That's what I use for the inside. And those are the little berries that grow here. Wow. And some bee pollen. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And then what do we got here? Do we know? Yeah, those are. Um, you did those? From raw chocolate truffles, yeah. Some of them have spirulina in it. You can probably see it. They're green like this. Wow. There's other ones with the peppermint and some other ones with the coffee. Did you do that also? No, that's no. a guacamole, somebody else. Yeah. So, <laughs> Carl's like the raw chocolate master of Vilcabamba here. That's what they say. So our friend Lonnie here, she's staying on our land and she's creating all these different mandala classes. Angela's been going crazy about it. She's been making amazing mandalas. That's what actually you saw on the yurt floor, remember? And um, right now there's a mandala, mandala workshop going on. I got an Wow. This is cool. Awesome. What ended up happening? Let's see what Marley's doing. Seems like you're addicted to this type of thing now. Yes, I am. That's all we do as a family now. <laughs> Even got Antonio involved. Wow. Whoa, that's a trip. <laughs> We're doing watercolors too. Watercolors? How? Yeah, like this one? Uh -huh. This one? Show what you did. How you do it? Mm. This one. No. Oh, that's nice. How do you do it, Marina? Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and didn't you come? You, did you come to? You heard about Vilcabamba through us, or? Well, first through Mike Adams and then through you. Uh, okay, you saw our videos or something. Yeah. Anne's totally into raw foods. That's what she eats, that's what she does, always getting product and stuff. That's awesome. Cool. It's great here because we can get all organic things now and we can buy all superfoods from that. <laughs> so you didn't regret the move then? No, 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 not at all. Uh, I like the weather too. Yeah, the weather's awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, everybody, so here's Lonnie who's put this all together, who's the mandala expert. Thank you for coming by and allowing me to film and everything. It's been an honor to be here. Awesome. You liking it here? Very much, very much. You might see me back next year. <laughs> cool. So how long have you been doing the mandalas for? I've been painting mandalas about 18 years. 18 years. And I live in Israel and I teach mandala painting in groups and uh, classes. And it's just a joy for me to share mandala painting. That's awesome. It's, it's really cool, guys, because I was here watching, and it's like total geometry. She takes a compass, and then there's this line, this line. It just, they're beautiful designs. It's just Amazing, everyone's loving it's it. It's very simple, it's really a meditation. Wow. And uh, what we're doing today is uh, we've drawn patterns and groups are painting so you can see how to create together. Right. Lonnie's just gonna show us a little bit of how to do mandalas. When you just see this, you're gonna be amazed at how fun it is. So let's, let's check it out. Thank you. I just wanna demonstrate how to find the center of the page. Okay. So we're gonna put a, a, a straight edge from side to side. We're gonna make a little mark in the middle. Another side, diagonal to diagonal. So we have a little X in the middle. This tool is a compass, and we're gonna open it as wide as it opens. This is the law. Nice. These are great compasses, mop head. <laughs> and we're going to place the compass right in the middle of this X. And you hold it with these two fingers, anchor it with this side, and then let a circle happen and let the compass move around what I call the anchor. 
Then, if you can hand me that plastic the little bit there. And is there a pencil somewhere? Back? This is so cool. It's all geometry. You just saw how she found the center of the page. You're about to see how she finds every different aspect of the circle, and then this is where the crazy design and drawings come into play. Line up the ruler. I always look at the, the circle as a clock. So we're going to put the pencil in the center, and we're going to put this ruler, and we're going to make a line between 12 and 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now the magic of the compass, this divides the circle into six parts. So if we anchor it at 12 o'clock, then we're going to mark 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Then if we anchor it on 6 o'clock, we'll get 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Now to get 3 and 9, we take our ruler and line it up between the 6 and the 2 and make a little mark between the 12 and the 4 and make a little mark. And we have an X. Now we're going to line up our ruler between the X and the center. And this gives us the 3 and the 9. Ah. Okay? Uh-huh. So then we take this again and we're going to mark it on the 9. We get 11 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Then we put it on the 3 and we get 1 o'clock and five o'clock. Okay? Mm -hmm. So far so good? So far so good. <laughs> so now we're gonna line the ruler up. We're gonna put the center again. And we're gonna line it up with the one and the seven. And we're gonna make a line. So we're gonna have something that looks like a clock or you might say a pie. We're cutting the pie into 12 pieces. We're gonna line the two and the eight. Mm -hmm. Then the 10 and the four. And now we have the 5 and the 11. And it's all perfectly symmetrical to the T. There we go. So if you would like to see how this pattern, this pattern is made. That's an awesome pattern. Okay. Okay. So my compass, my handy compass. We're going to erase these little marks. We don't need these anymore. So we're going to start with circles and circles. It's so cool how this unfolds. Watch this. So we're going to make one little circle in the middle. Then we're going to do another circle. make a couple more and then we're going to do the match. Let's make it a little bit small. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to eyeball and go down the middle just to put dots. Okay. We're going to do that on each one. This is really cool. And what I'm making, just for your information, this is the pattern for the heart chakra. Because it's actually a lotus flower. It's gonna, we're going to make lots of petals in a minute. Oh. So it's actually symbolizing for the heart chakra. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is the one in This Andrew's is the yurt. pattern we painted in the yurt. Oh. And because I didn't have a, a compass big enough to make all those big circles in the yurt, I just used these lines and did increments. Ah, right. Oh, wow. So this is going to give you an idea how that's made in a minute. Yeah. So we're going to start at 12 o'clock. Okay. And we're going to go from the line to the dot. And this is a simple S. And I like to say to make a little tush. <laughs> so it has a big curve. So it's a tush. And we're going to go around the circle making an S. See how soft this S is? Uh-huh. It's going with an S. And this, it's like a mantra, from the line to the dot, from the line to the dot, from the line to the dot. Now, we're going to go opposite. We're going to go this way, line to the dot, line to the dot, line to the dot, line to the dot. So this is our first layer. Okay. 
Beautiful. So now we're going to go dock wow. to mine. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to go dock to mine. Dock to mine. And we're going to do the Whoa. same thing. Now, you can go either way. I like to go in one direction, but it is possible to complete one pedal at a time. But I like everyone to find their own way. Mm -hmm. So, and it's very good. It works on both sides of the brain. Anyone can do it. We, in our class that we're in right now, we made a joint mandala. I had everyone doing different pedals. Wow. So you can see them coloring together. So we're going to make the next layer. Yeah, it's like everything is <clears throat> so accurate, but then you got to do like your own creativity here. Exactly. Yeah. I like everyone to be, the sky's the limit. Right. Yeah. So you can go this way. Now that we're in a, in a smaller area, I'm going to make six petals instead of 12 petals. Okay. So we're going to start at the line and we're going to go to the line instead of the dot. Oh, ah, so it's line to line. Line to line. And you're gonna have a heart shape in a minute. It's really messy, the heart. Oh, uh, yeah. So there. And this is just like one of many, many designs. This is the heart chakra you can This do. is the heart chakra. And, and I can take you around and tell you the names of the different patterns we're doing in the class today. If you want. We're doing, uh, we have the flower of life, the seed of life, and the heart cut. Nice. And I have a beautiful book that my teacher wrote in Israel. It's called The Mandala Way. He, start, he wrote it originally in Hebrew, and it's now um, in English. And in this, that's, there you go. What? So we can get bigger if you want. We can make in increments, but I think we'll leave it like that. And then you're done, but what do you do next? You just color? Now you can, when you color it, you can erase these grid marks that we started with, and you can leave the circles or erase the circles. I ah. like to encourage people to play. Nice. To do what they want. So we can go around, I'll show you two different patterns like this, and we can see how different people can use it differently. Perfect. Yeah, so should we do that? Yeah. So here, this pattern, can we show him what, what you're doing? Oh, this yeah. Is this is the flower of life. Wow. And this is also the flower of life with the tree of life. Wow. And this is their version of the flower of life. Beautiful. So over here, this group is also doing the heart chakra. That's what you just did? We just did? We drew this at the beginning of the class as a demonstration. And as you can see, everybody put their petals in. Right. I didn't draw all petals. Right. It's very organic. And it still looks good. Like, you know. The, Look at the creativity. <laughs> what I mean is, it's like it's not the geometric part. And well, it's, people are, it's, it's natural. Yeah, right? it's totally everything natural. was the same, it looked like a computer made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I love about it. Yeah. Nice. So here's another one over here, the same pattern. And look how they're different. They're, this, they're not using the circle. That's, that's a trip. It's the look same at that. pattern. That's a psychedelic experience here. It is a psychedelic it's experience. The clown. <laughs> Who did that? I did that. <laughs> that's awesome, man. And over here, this is, we started with uh, the of life, but they created their own. They used the compass and added circles. Ah. So this is an, a very uh, original design. Beautiful. Oh, but I want to show you what it started like. Okay. This is what they had when they first got the painting. <laughs> That's what they had. Wow. So look how creative they got. Wow. That's amazing. And this is the flower of life. Yep. The first one I showed you. Mm -hmm. And this is my teacher's book, by the way. It's called The Mandala Way. Ah. His name is Eitan Kedmi. Okay. And it's available through his website. Cool. It's, I recommend it highly because what he's done in this book, he gives instructions on how to, how to draw different patterns. Wow. There's 16 different patterns in this book. Nice. So see how he's done the same thing that I did, but he used the circles. In the wow. So I just wanted to show you, it's, it's so amazing to be creative, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Antonio's here. He's been getting into this aspect. I just am blown away by these. I had to show you guys.
first off, look at that. <clears throat> wow. What else we got here? This is just the, the, the design. Of course, you could, you could go in, in infinite in different ways, the coloring part of it, you know. Uh, I, I like to call this the carnival. It's, it reminds me like of just like a wheel, you know, that spins. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, check this out. Actually, uh... And this one, for the kitties out there. <laughs> And everything's like so geometrically perfect because of the way you guys do it. Yeah. That's it. That's wow. Nah, this is just. This is like a regular. Oh, Marina did this. Oh, uh, Marina? Yeah. Wow. Huh? Marina did this. Wow. Huh? And. Let's see. Oh, she did this also. Wow. Huh? So she's getting into it. Uh huh. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. But I have reading cards. Can you see it okay? Yeah. Uh, I print them on canvas. The originals are done on watercolor paper. Wow. And I uh, duplicate them on canvas. And, wow. and, and they come on a, a, a wooden frame. Wow. So about the length. Oh, that's okay. My favorite one's that one right there. I make wow. reading cards. Wow. So these are different patterns that I've uh, reproduced. Wow. Pretty. And there's five more. I don't know if that background is such a nice background. <laughs> That's, That's cool. I like that one too. See, now that's the heart shape with the Star of David. You wow. see the pattern? Yeah. Now this is really cool on black paper with fluorescent pens. You have wow. to get better on the white. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then when I draw patterns, I like to encourage people to make texture with different uh, pens. So they use all kinds of things like watercolor pencils and felt tip pens. You can even make mandalas with rice and lentils and seeds. It's wow. endless. Yeah. So I hope you guys continue all this creativity here in Vilcabamba. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Angela's all over it. <laughs> That seems what like. Happens? See what happens when you sit down in a new space? Is it really? This is life. We get changed. One, two, three. Yes. yes. Mandalas are a reflection of life. Oh man, I don't know if I could handle something like that. <laughs> They're attached. They're attached. Everyone's attached to their creations. Everyone can't move from their mondo. You have to like rip them away to put them to a new one. It's funny. Nice. And if you want to see more of my mandalas, I have a Facebook page. It's Manda Lani Levine. Manda Lani Levine. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'll post that on the thing below. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, everybody. So this is what's been going on over here. Mandala craziness. Everyone's loving it. See you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.